One of uh, the basic problem of uh, psychologists, they are using a model of mind where yourself as a subjectivity is the center. And then below that there is a, an unconscious mind and a collective unconscious mind. The model you are using seems to have two polarity. One is the self, the conscious mind, our identification with uh, our personality. And then there is layer of mind and somehow there is this kind of consciousness who is a state in which is below that and there is no mind and it seems that in human people uh, these two points are together there is an in identification and in the enlightened one there is a clear observation of this uh, separation between self or uh, personality and consciousness. Is this so? It was Sigmund Freud in the West who for the first time used the word unconscious mind. He had no idea that in the East we have five thousand year old scriptures using the idea of the unconscious mind. So he thought he has discovered something. Then Jung found that if you go deeper than the unconscious, you find a collective unconscious mind. That too in the East we have been aware for centuries. One thing more we have been aware, which West has still to find out, if you go below the collective unconscious mind, you will find the cosmic unconscious mind. And that is very logical. Conscious mind is personal. Unconscious mind is impersonal. Then collective unconscious mind is of all that has preceded you, the whole history of mind. It's contained in it. But this cannot be the foundation. Below it there is cosmic unconscious mind which is the mind of the whole existence. These are the steps if you go below, downwards, so Collective unconscious mind, unconscious mind, cosmic unconscious mind. These three are the steps below the conscious mind. 
exactly three are above the conscious mind which nobody has in the west yet even thought about above the conscious mind is the state i called no mind it is just like impersonal unconscious mind which is below this is above it is also impersonal but you are fully conscious of it it is not unconscious mind it is above the conscious mind you can call it conscious no mind no mind because there are no thoughts absolute silence many meditators stop here thinking that they have arrived so there are few religions in the east who have stopped on the no mind just as sigmund freud stopped on the unconscious mind and never bothered to go deeper it but there have been seekers who tried to reach higher as you go higher than the conscious no mind you find super consciousness our super conscious mind this super consciousness is exactly equivalent to the lower collective unconscious mind in this state of super conscious mind you experience that you are not separate but you are part of a consciousness is fear which is above the bio is fear that surrounds the earth that you partake with the whole is fear this makes you aware of oneness of consciousness few religions have stopped at super consciousness just as jung is stopped at collective unconsciousness above it is the cosmic conscious mind that makes you feel one not with only consciousness but with the whole existence as such this is the point where one can feel 
what Patanjali calls Samadhi. The word Samadhi means all problems are solved. All questions are dissolved. You have come to a space which knows no questions, no problems, which is eternally blissful. This is the place which can be called godliness, because you are one with the whole existence. Western psychotherapy has gone only on the lower steps of the ladder. And the reason is why they have gone on the lower steps of the ladder, because Western psychology started studying sick, mentally deranged people. They were on the lower steps. So naturally they started finding more and more about those lower steps. Eastern psychology has simply mentioned that these steps are there to be avoided, but they have not been studied. No thesis is available in the East which goes in details about these steps. They have been simply mentioned. But in the East, the higher steps have been very deeply studied because they were studying the meditators, not the sick people. Because the object of study was different, the whole approach became different. They were studying the meditators, so they became aware of the no mind, of super-consciousness, of cosmic consciousness. They were moving towards healthier states of consciousness. And they were finding ways how to move. Western psychology, unfortunately, started with the sick people. It has found, at least up to the collective unconscious, Someday somebody will find the cosmic unconscious too. Their whole work is how to pull out the sick person back to the normal consciousness, which they think is of great importance. In the East, that is the place which has to be left. And in the West, that is the place which has to be arrived. 